these waves get longer and longer, and you know, all through the same space, all these things are going on at the same time, so that in this space, there's not only your my vision of you, but information from Moscow radio that's being broadcast at the present moment, and the seeing of somebody from Peru. All the radio waves are just the same kind of waves, only longer waves. And there's the radar from the airplane, which is looking at the ground to figure out where it is, which is coming through this room at the same time. Plus the X-rays, <laughs> cosmic rays, and all these other things, which are the same kind of waves, exactly the same waves, but shorter, faster, or longer, slower. It's exactly the same thing. So this big field, this, this area of irregular motions of this electric field, this vibration, contains this tremendous information, and it's all really there. That's what gets you. If you don't believe it, then you pick a piece of wire and connect it to a box, and in the wire, the electrons will be pushed back and forth by this electric field, sloshing just at the right speed for a certain kind of long ways, and you turn some knobs on the box to get the sloshing just right, and you hear Radio Moscow. Now you know that it was there. How else did it get there? It was there all the time. It's only when you turn on the radio that it, you notice it. But that all these things are going through the room at the same time, which everybody knows. When you, but you've got to stop and think about it to really get the pleasure about the complexity, the inconceivable <laughs> nature of nature. Richard Feynman's explains the inconceivable nature of light very elegantly. But could a deeper understanding of time as a physical process give us an objective understanding of this that fits in with the reality of our everyday life. The theory explained in the rest of this video is based on just two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function or probability function of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself photon by photon. And the second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the probability function is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. This process of continuous creation or change we see and feel as the flow of time itself and we can interact with it turning the possible into the actual. Therefore we are able to tune a radio into Radio Moscow collapsing the radio waves into new photons representing new moments of space and time within our own reference frame. This theory is based on Einstein's theories of relativity and a deeper understanding of quantum mechanics. In this theory, the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain, being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time, relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force 
to the electromagnetic force, objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory, the organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame this is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory.